What's up, Daily Faceoff Fantasy users? It's Fantasy Managing Editor Brock Segan here, uh, coming to explain to you how the customizable rankings and projections work for this season. Uh, if you used it last year, it is almost identical with minor, uh, some minor tweaks, minor upgrades uh, to it. We did try to add it to the website so that you could just go to the website and use um, the same tool. We ran into some issues, which is why it was a little bit delayed in releasing uh, these projections. But if you used it a season ago, uh, you should have no issues using it this season. It's very similar. Um, if you didn't use it last year, well, then this is why I'm here to help explain. Um, some of the things that we changed this year is we've added position eligibility and ADP. Uh, we had position eligibility last year. We did not have ADP. So now say you are using ESPN as opposed to fantasy, you just check off ESPN. You get the position eligibility for all the players on ESPN as well as their ADP on that site. Same thing for Yahoo, obviously. Uh, if you are playing um, in a league that you know counts hits or any of these categories, you simply check off uh, the categories that you have and you'll get new rankings. So I just took hits out. You go over here and uh, sort by fantasy overall. Think of fantasy overall as NHL's um, overall. So out of 99, you know, Connor McDavid might be a 99 in shell. Um, this is very similar. Just an easy way to kind of try to rank players um, and, and simple and easy to digest. And it breaks it down based on your scoring categories. Uh, same thing goes for goalies. Uh, you have, you know, the ADP um, and um, obviously the position eligibility will be the same because they're all goalies. The ADP. Uh, we'll go with whichever one you've checked off on uh, position and ADP on the skaters categories. Same thing. You can choose different uh, your different categories, just sort by fantasy overall, and you'll get your new rankings. What I did change and what I did add this year, which I is should be hugely helpful, is I have a I come up with a way to rank them all in the same page. So last year, everything was broken down. You had forwards, you had defensemen, you had goalies. Now I've got everything on one page here. It's the exact same ranked by fantasy overall. You got the goalies in here. Very easy projections for pretty much everybody in the NHL projections will be changing um, throughout the month of September into October as training camps get underway, as injuries happen, things will change. But as of right now, we have projections for 648 players in total. I'm sure that that number will increase as we head through the month of September and into October. Um, and then the same thing can be done for points. Um, if you're in a league that counts goals, let's say hits, right? And hits are worth one. You just simply check off hits. You change the weight and how much, um, they are worth, and then you get new projections. And then again, you know, obviously this is rated by points as opposed to fantasy overall because it's a points league. You uh, sort it by points, and you've got your new uh, ranking. So as you can see here, Brady Kachuk um, fifth in a, in a hits league. If you take out hits, you see his projections drop to 604 points, and then now Brady Kachuk is only rated uh, 40th. So things all change again. It's all powered the same way. You got the you got the goalies over here. You can change and add whatever categories you need. And then here you'll have an overall ranking in terms of points based on the scoring settings that you've used. So it's all very simple. It's all uh, very user-friendly. should be easy for you. And then again, we've got the printable PDFs. If you're somebody that likes to have that hard copy in your hands on draft day, uh, this is an easy way. So basically all you got to do is punch in your, your categories, whatever they may be. Go to all categories and then get your players. So you would basically just copy and paste uh, the first 40 into the first 40 spots and then the next 40 into the next 40 spots. And then you have the ability uh, to go up to 240 players and then simply just hit print. You've got three page um, rankings, top 240 at your disposal on draft day, customized for your league settings. Um, you know, if you want to just use this to look at projections, but you still want to use my rankings, my rankings uh, do differ a little bit. Obviously these are strictly projection based rankings. Uh, my rankings, um, you know, they, they, you build an upside a little bit more, right? Like projections are very stale. They are just one number or, you know, how, a number of goals, number of assists. And we're, we're basically just assuming that's how many they're going to have. When in reality, we know that some players might have greater upside than others. So my rankings do take in um, some more of the upside or downside or injury risk, as opposed to just these customizable rankings that are built solely on projections. So um, if you want to just use these to see the projections, see where we've got people kind of pegged, see the ADP, everything kind of all in one spot. That's great. We will have separate principal PDFs uh, available for my exclusive rankings. So those are just kind of some of the things that you need um, you need heading into your fantasy hockey drafts. Now, the one thing 
that is the same as last year that you need to do is that every single time you come to this page, you won't be able to make changes. You have to get your own copy of these projections. And how you do that is step one, file, make a copy. Very simple. You go to file, make a copy. You will have your own copy of these projections and you can do whatever you want with them. You can change the number of goals you think Connor McDavid's going to score. You can increase, decrease anything that you want. If you disagree with my projections, you can change anything you want and it will change the fantasy overall. So if you want to make your own projections and just use this tool to try to rank players, then go ahead. That is, um, you know, that is up to you. And then basically that's it. Once you've got your own copy, you can do whatever you wish to it. Um, last year I had thousands upon thousands of requests for me to share so that you guys can edit. Obviously I cannot do that. You guys can't change these projections because that will change them for everybody. So the first thing you need to do is just make your own copy. You can do whatever you wish. If you, um, you know, as I said, projections are going to be changing throughout the course of September, throughout the course of October. So if you need to return and make another copy, you can make as many copies as you want and, and uh, do with it what you will. So that is pretty much it. You will be able to find this projection sheet in our draft kit on the website. Again, it is 100% free. You don't have to pay a cent for any of this. We've got um, team previews, which have bios for all the fantasy relevant players uh, available right now, as well as their projections. We also have uh, tons of podcasts coming up. We've got two released already, more to come, and then tons of articles will be released in the next coming weeks. You got your sleepers, your busts, your breakouts, everything that you need to be uh, successful in fantasy hockey this season. So that's going to do it for this little explanation video. Again, if you have any questions, concerns, uh, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter at DFO fantasy or at Brock underscore C and I'll be happy to answer any of your questions, but best of luck during draft season. I hope this helps and we'll see you guys out there this year.